Uh, these juvenile features show that there are many, many different stages, and at each stage, the um, the animal is going through sort of several degrees of puberty. In 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 the modern human concepts of change, it's it's puberty, I suppose. They um, I have some like hadrosaurs that are others they have defensive armament at the back of their heads because that's where the most obvious attacks going to come from and others they develop more and more and there's more elaborate sort of um, display gear and communications gear on their heads to to signal and frighten away predators because a predator is not going to risk attacking a large herd of animals if, if it knows it's got no chance of success even if it knows it could kill that animal and still get a meal it just doesn't make any sense, you know. So why would, uh, you know, Tyrannosaurus perhaps, which I, 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 I cited in the title because it's a transitionary animal. Maybe it was a transitionary animal. Before a process of social selection, you had um, maybe the only way uh, to prevent like the weaker, less apt individuals, rather than just strength. I'm talking about less aptness developing. You know, for a Tyrannosaur female, the size difference between her and the male has now been proven, you know, in the female's favour. She was, the, if we're looking at the most, the, the baddest, um, the baddest one in the, in the valley, you know, it's the females. They were the ones, you know, all dinosaurs are sort of these eagle-like uh, predator predators that are, are going to kill anything that they can sink their teeth into. But she is deciding whether she likes a male or not. So he may have fought off all the other males in the area. But if she thinks there's not something quite right about him, she can chop it, she can bite his head off. I mean, I'm not talking like in the literal thing of your, your girlfriend saying you forgot the chips at, for fish and chips. I mean, literally, she can bite his head off. She'll eat him. All right? Um, so that's the only kind of process that can, that can go on. But once you start getting packs, yeah, then the, the f uh, of animals, then you see a complete switch. In most animals, uh, you look at particularly eagles. In eagles, the general trend of eagles living in small solitary family groups, where the male and the female are, are hunting, are the the female is the largest. She's the most dominant. She because she's got to protect the young from males that will want to kill the young so they can breed with her, or. She's got to uh, make sh enforce her will on her own mate to make sure that he keeps providing food for her. When you start getting a social assistant, it's more important then for males to protect females. That's not because males generally just want to protect their females, but because they invest, they have to invest more time because the female r r has less incentive to. Uh, be spend an inordinate amount of time defending and killing males that she doesn't want and um, driving off other females who might be competitions for, for males and doing all the things that rather than the thing that she most wants to do which is to be able to pass on her genes to the next generation nurture those genes and then be able to then have the next generation, the next generation, the next generation, and that's it. That's why um, the incentive for males is to have as many um, in in nature and in human societies as well. Um, is to have as many mates as possible, to have as many children as possible. But all the time they are taking on, there is a trade off. Is they're taking on all the stress. They're having to do all the things that um, the female can't um, spend her time doing. You know, in that role, in the in the dominant role. 
which is, was generally the case. Now, of course, you know, you can see um, in social insects, there is really no, not that kind of uh, situation at all. You know, whereas I was just talking about the male being dominant in a sort of society of higher animals where, say, like the alpha male in a wolf pack or a, a, um, or a, a pride of lions, you know. Yes, the females are doing all the... Um, not all of the, all of the light to medium sized um, prey items, but when you've got other males coming in, the death rate for males is extremely high. They're also going to be called into perhaps you know um, to uh, take down the largest prey in coalition with females, you know. Um, so. In, in a sense, females are co-opting males, but then there is the trade-off that they have to submit to the males in a lion pride. The in other kinds of ways, there is a um, a more of an equal relationship. For, for instance, with uh, in tiger or leopard societies, you know. Tigers, as if you if you're not aware of this, actually seek out each other's company. They they are massive territories. They get lonely, you know, just like leopards do. They they will actually form sort of informal prides, you know, in and it's been documented well documented in India and Siberia. Um, so there is a kind of loose society. Of course, the trade-off of not being in a pride like a lion is that you have to be much bigger, you have to be much stronger, or you have to have specific traits. You see, if like with cheetahs, they will form, say, a, a coalition of three males, which are generally related, but sometimes it's like a blood brother ship. Uh, they have to look out for each other because of course they're not at the top of the food chain they might be able to be the most effective predator or like leopards but they will lose many of their kills you know so i'm trying to give you some i'm not ge be, being overly general i'm trying to give you some specific examples that sort of show the general trend yeah um now if you look at uh, more what we would consider more primitive animals, you know, and they, 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 you've got the single individuals of an ant colony or a bee colony or a, a termite colony, you know, in that in that sense, the the drone, the male, is just basically there to convey genetic information. They are as much like the solitary insect that conveys it from a flower to another flower, um, you know. In, in that sense, they are just a link. You know, and in, it, so they are completely female-dominated societies. Uh, although none of, the, uh, unless the the queen in that situation dies, none of the others will breed because of chemical signals, um, which suppress uh, fertility. Um, the, now, but when you look at uh, people, uh, people's opinions about nature. 